So, uh, what was the key for this big win? Because uh, you were struggling in the beginning, but uh, after, I don't know, 15 minutes or something, it was like uh, you were the only team on the court. For sure. I think we, you know, we had a tough loss uh, last week, and, you know, it came down to defense and rebounding, and that's what we focused on this game. Um, yeah, we started off a little slow, which is never, like, perfect, but... You know, we really picked it up for thir honestly. We played 35 minutes of good defense and good, and we did rebounded very well. Um, you know, we knew they were a three-point shooting team, and uh, our scouting report just forced them off the line, make them make plays off the dribble. I think we did a great job doing that. Let me translate for a moment. Oyan Hammer μας είπε ότι είχαν μια δυσκολία στο την περασμένη εβδομάδα, οπότε επικεντρώθηκαν στην άμυνα και στα rebound σημείο στο οποίο ήταν κλειδί. Παίξανε άμυνα για 35 λεπτά απέναντι σε μια ομάδα με πάρα πολύ καλή σουτέρ και αυτό ήταν το κλειδί για την συγκεκριμένη νίκη. So, now you will face your former team, Aik. How does it feel, you know, seeing your some of your old teammates? The familiar faces. Absolutely, you know, you know, uh, the the team's changed quite a lot since last year. But there's still a couple of guys like Andreas, who I know quite well, a good friend of mine. But no, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Uh, it'll be fun to play them. Uh, you know, I, there's there's always gonna be in my heart a uh, spot for Ike. Um, but it's, it should be a good game. You know, I know they had a few injuries uh, in this game, but you know they're a very dangerous team, and you know we we'll just have to. Uh, Scout them well, and you know, it's gonna, again. I think it's going to come down to defense and rebounding. Θα αντιμετωπίσει την πρώην ομάδα του την ΑΕΚ, την οποία γνωρίζει καλά. Έχει μια μεγάλη θέση στην καρδιά του για την Ένωση. Υπάρχουν αρκετοί παίκτε του οποίου και γνωρίζει από το προηγούμενο πέρασμά του από την ΑΕΚ. Πολύ καλού του φίλου όπω τον Αντρέα τον Πετρόπουλο. Και θα είναι ένα παιχνίδι το οποίο θα κρυθεί σε πολύ μεγάλο βαθμό μέσα από την άμυνα. Uh, you know, Uh, as long as uh, a person eats, it, sometimes uh, he gets uh, hungrier. Now you are qualified. Uh, you qualified to the semifinals. Uh, perhaps I don't know. Uh, we're thinking about the trophy. No, you can't think about that. You know, again, we take one game at a time. Um, we didn't care about the trophy coming into this game, and we focused on just one game, um, and that's going to be what's going to happen against Ike. You know, we. We have Ike. D win, lose, like we can't focus on the cup. Obviously, we want to get to the finals. That the that's the ultimate goal. But Ike's our next next opponent, and that's what we got to scout for. Το κύπελο δεν είναι αυτή τη στιγμή στο μυαλό των ανθρώπων του περιστερίου και των παικτών του περιστερίου. Το μόνο πράγμα που είναι στο μυαλό τους είναι η Ike. Αυτό έχουνε ως κεντρικό τους πλάνο και σε αυτό θέλουνε να επικεντρωθούνε. Φυσικά σκεφτόντουσαν το. Σκεφτόντουσαν την πρόκληση στον τελικό, όμως ακόμα είναι νωρίς. So, and one last, uh, last question. How's your, um, uh, your experience so far with uh, Vasil Spanoulis? Because you know he's uh, huge, he's big. But uh, we also heard that uh, he's loud in the practices. You know, so far so good. I'm, I'm impressed. Obviously, you know, he's a legend um, as a player. But from what I've seen, he really focuses on the individuals and you know he he makes the offense he, he sees the the strengths of a person of a team um, and he makes the offense around that a lot you know a lot of coaches they have an offense in mind and they try to force players into the offense but he does he sees the strengths of everyone and he tries to make an offense around that so so far I'm very impressed and I'm I'm loving playing for him also one last thing uh, if a teammate of yours uh, said that uh, many of you guys are uh, listening to his stories from his playing time after the practices, is that true? You know, I've only been here for about a week, maybe <laughs> two weeks. Uh, I've yet to hear some, uh, I would love to. Um, no, I think it's it's wise for all of us, even the older guys, to to hear what he has to say because he's, look, he's been on the highest level. He's won, like, everything. And, you know, it's he's one of those guys you really have to listen to because he has your best interest in mind. And I think uh, going forward, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Ian. Λοιπόν, ε, πολύ γρήγορα. Καταρχά, δεν ε, έχει μάθει κάποια ιστορία από τον Βασίλη Πανούλη ακόμα. Όμω, αν υπομονεί να ακούσει αυτά που έχει να πει ο Κιλ Μπίλ, είναι ένα άνθρωπο ο οποίο έχει κερδίσει τα πάντα ε, και ένα ε, σπουδαίο ε, παίκτη. Ε, όσο για το προπονητικό κομμάτι, τόνισε ότι κοιτάζει τις, ε, δυνα, τα δυνατά σημεία κάθε παίκτη και δεν προσπαθεί να του ε, ε, αναγκάσει να παίξουν με ένα συγκεκριμένο τρόπο. Εφαρμόζει το παιχνίδι τη ομάδα πάνω 
στο παιχνίδι του, στο παιχνίδι του εκάστοτε παίκτη και γι' αυτό ε, έχει ενθουσιαστεί μέχρι στιγμής βεβαίως για την, σε, σε ό,τι έχει να κάνει με τις ε, ιστορίες περιμένουμε όπως είπε και ο ίδιος ε, θέλει να μάθει περισσότερα αλλά είναι ακόμα νωρίς θυμίζουμε ότι τις, ε, ε, το, το, την απάντηση για τις ιστορίες του Βασίλη Πανούλη μας την ε, έδωσε ο Δημήτρης Μωραήτης ο οποίος ήταν και ο MVP στο παιχνίδι με τον Παόλο